What's going on, everybody? Today I'm going to be reviewing an old game called Breakthrough from the 3M Bookshelf series. This game came out in 1965, and it is for two players. Now, the uh, actual game um, that this has been spawned from is very, very old. It actually came out around the 4th century under what's called the Taffel Game series. Now, this version uh, is a little bit different only because it has a seafaring theme to it. The object of this game, actually there's two objects. Um, you have a silver side and a gold side. The gold side is trying to get his flagship to safety, while the silver side is trying to capture the flagship or block it within a certain quadrant so it cannot escape. Anyway, this is a pretty cool little strategy game. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so now I have the game set up over here. Whoever is going to play the gold team is going to be setting up their pieces within this quadrant right here that's bolted out. Uh, anybody who is on the silver team is going to be setting up their pieces outside of this quadrant. So they're going to be out in this outer area over here. Now you can set up these pieces anywhere in your area if you want. This just happens to be one configuration. There's several different ones that you can use here as you can see throughout the instructions over here. Now the object of the silver team is they're going to be trying to keep this person blocked in this quadrant over here or it will try to capture him. The object of the gold team is they're trying to get the flagship out of this boundary over here. They're trying to get it out here into this outer area. Now there's two different types of moves in this game. There's the motion moves and then there are the capture moves. Motion moves basically represents the uh, pieces just moving around. Um, each piece can move horizontally or or vertically as many spaces as they will allow for example uh, you can move this piece here you can move it here um, any once you reach a piece that's in front of you you're going to basically not be able to move any further um, the gold will be able to do the exact same movements as well and the flagship will also move horizontally or vertically there's also the capture move the capture move is basically done like a pawn in chess if you have a piece positioned over here, for example, in its goal's turn, gold will be able to capture the piece and put it out of play like so. Now, on the silver player's turn, the silver player will be able to move two pieces uh, once each. So, for example, I could have silver go here for my first move, and for my second move, I could move this piece here. But I can't move one piece twice. I have to move two separate pieces once. The gold team will also be able to move... Uh, two pieces once unless he decides to move the flagship. If he decides to move the flagship then the gold player is only going to be able to move the flagship and no other piece and he's only going to be able to move the flagship once. So I'll go ahead and just show you kind of how a typical game will work here. Let's say it's Silver's turn, Silver starts, and Silver decides he's going to move a piece over here and let's say he decides he's going to move a piece over here. Uh, so now it's Gold's turn. So Gold decides, okay, he, he's going to capture this piece right here and put him out of play, like so. And then Gold decides he's going to also do um, this. He's going to block this guy out. So right now, on my next turn, I'll actually be able to get the flagship out if I decide to. So, what, so on Silver's next turn, Silver decides, okay, he's going to move here. This will keep the Gold ship inside. And um, he's also going to go ahead and capture this gold piece over here, like so. So now uh, gold will go again. Let's see what gold decides to do. Gold's going to go ahead and just try to move his flagship over here. Let's just say he decides to do that. And since he moved his flagship, that's the only move he's going to be able to do. So silver goes again. And uh, let's see. So silver is thinking, okay, I've got to try to keep this flagship in. He decides to move a piece over here. This is going to keep him from moving up. And he also decides he is going to move uh, a piece down over here. Let's just say he decides to do that. So this is generally how the game is played. Uh, and you're going to just basically keep on going until uh, the flagship can no longer move outside of the space where the flagship is captured. Or if the flagship is actually able to get outside of this area. If that's the case, gold will win. If the flagship is captured or stays in this area, then the silver team will win. And that is how you play the game Breakthrough. 